Hi everyone, my name is Michelle and I'm a 3L here at the law school and I uh, went to Georgetown in DC for undergrad and I graduated and went straight through and my hometown is Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. So I wanted to talk to you all a little bit about our journals and our um, journal requirements and kind of what the journal process looks like um, as well as what the options are here at Minnesota Law for your second year legal writing requirement. So I am an editor on our Minnesota Law Review and here at Minnesota Law, we um, require that each student participate in either a journal or a moot court um, in their second year. Some students choose to do both. And the main reason why the university does this is because the value of legal writing is only ever increasing and um, it's hugely important to your ability to write. And so they want to get this started. So you start with your 1L year legal writing class, which goes all year. And then that just continues on to your second year when you take um, either journal or book or, or do both. So specifically regarding journals, we have four of them. We have our broad journal, which is Minnesota Law Review. We have, um, and then we have three more topic focused journals. So we have um, the Journal of Law, and the Journal of International Law, the Journal of Law and Inequality, um, and the Journal of Law, Science and Technology. So our four journals are all um, staffed by two L staffers. So you go in your second year. And then there are three L's who serve as editors um, and are on the board of editors who kind of oversee the process and have different tasks. So specifically speaking to kind of what the process of getting on a journal looks like, at the end of your 1L year, each student has the opportunity to um, petition is what the process is called. It's kind of like an application. Um, petition to be on a journal. And so if you're not on a journal, you will be placed in a moot court unless you want to apply for one of our competitive moot court teams. Um, so you have options. And at the end of your 1L year, you can pick up a petition, which is kind of a packet, and it has reading material and also some worksheets that you have to work through, for example, um, using what is called the Blue Book. And so Blue Book, the Blue Book and Blue Booking is the legal citation formatting that is used for all legal scholarship and also legal writing. So if you were writing a brief for a court or if you were writing an article for a journal, um, it would be Blue Booked, meaning it's kind of like the Chicago style or APA style or um, those that were used in undergrad. It is similar to that, but for the law, and so it's very structured and it's used across the country and everyone formats it the same. So your 2L year, um, you petition, you write a, a document, like a note or a comment on the readings that you do, and then you um, do some of that working, some of that work with the blue book to kind of see if you can put the pieces together. Um, and if you liked the logic games portion of the LSAT, it's kind of like that. Um, you're learning how to work the rules and how to put them all together. So then you get on your journal, um, depending on which ones you rank and which ones um, you choose, then you start as a 2L staffer. And as a 2L staffer, you are working mostly below the line, meaning that you're working in the footnotes. And um, as, a, as an editor, then you get to choose different positions. And so you do that work below the line editing footnotes, but you also write what is called a note, which is kind of an article um, that you choose. So you get to choose your topic, um, I got to work with a really cool professor because you get placed with a faculty advisor and you talk with them, you meet with them, um, they help you refine your topic, help you with your research. We had amazing research, we have amazing research librarians and I use them all extensively when I was trying to research my topic because it was very medically focused and I didn't really know how to research medical journals. Um, so they were extremely helpful in helping me do that and using different search engines, different search terms. Um, so it was really, really great process. And in the end, it culminates with um, a presentation to your fellow um, staffers and your professor. And um, that is what the 2L year looks like. So it's an amazing opportunity to work on your writing, also your blue booking, which is just an amazing skill set in itself for any legal career. Um, and legal writing, legal scholarship is really great because if you put in a lot of work, and it's really great because you have the opportunity to then be published in your journal. Um, so each year, each journal publishes some of the student notes. Um, and that's just an amazingly rewarding process. If you have worked really hard and you really want to, you can submit it for um, selection and then your article might be printed and published. Um, so that is what our journals look like here at Minnesota Law. The 
Minnesota Law Review is a little bit more broad, as I was saying earlier, so you can write your note on any topic, as long as obviously it has um, a legal bend, but it can also have a policy bend. Um, and our other journals are a little bit more topic focused. So your note, for example, for Minnesota um, Journal of International Law would have to have some kind of tie to international law. Um, but it can also, you can also have a huge array of areas that you can write in. It just has to have an international law kind of angle. Same goes for Journal of Law, Science and Technology and Journal of Law and Inequality. Um, I really enjoyed being on a journal because you make great friends, you learn a lot of amazing skills, you get to work with really cool professors, um, and I learned an entirely new set of skills that I would have never gotten the opportunity to had I not been on a journal, I don't think. Um, so yeah, it's an amazing opportunity and I'm really excited and I think it's a really valuable aspect that Minnesota um, requires us to do either a moot court or a journal because both just provide you invaluable skills and opportunities to learn and grow um, in the really important area of legal writing. So yeah, if you have any questions about journals, um, please feel free to email me at cardo090 at umn.edu, um, and I'd be super happy to chat about journals um, or anything else, but yeah, thanks.